morning, y'all. This is Pastor Ben. Uh, it's a good day to be alive in Jesus Christ. Um, so, uh, I wanted to spend some time in the Word. I've been kind of thinking about fear, and uh, uh, just be. Sometimes we uh, we tend to think that we're forgotten by God. Uh, just circumstances. Um, you know, certain 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 circumstances that we face, um, we tend to think that God has forgotten about us. Uh, that that um, you know we uh, we are thrown to the wayside. Um, so I kind of wanted to look at that subject. Uh, I know I've I've touched on that with certain teenagers. Um, they they come from a bad home life, so they kind of think that uh, that. God has forgotten about him. What's up, James? Um, so, so they kind of think that uh, based on their home life, God has forgotten completely about them. And uh, there are some go to the uh, the extreme side of it and think uh, think that there is no God or something like that. But uh, uh, so anyway, I just wanted to touch on that subject a little bit. Um, Luke chapter 12 uh, we won't be going through all of verse 1 through 7 but just 4 through 7 um, talks a little bit about feeling that way and kind of kind of touches on the subject so verses 4 through 7 uh, it says this it says I tell you my friends Jesus speaking to the disciples he's speaking to the disciples while all the crowd hears uh, this, he's, he's mainly speaking uh, first to the disciples. He says, I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body, and after that, having nothing more than that they can do. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he had killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are you, are you not, are you, are not five sparrows sold for two pennies, and not one of them is forgotten before God? Why even the hairs of your head are all numbered? Fear not, you are more value than many sparrows. So, I want to focus on verses six and seven. Uh, verses six and seven. I'll, I'll just read it again. It says, "Are you, are not five sparrows sold for two pennies?" And not one of them is forgotten before God. Uh, why even the hairs of your head are all numbered? Fear not; you are not. You are of more value than many sparrows. So, um, you know, the first thing is that he says five sparrows sold for two pennies. Uh, sparrows were cheap back then, you know. Um, so they were, they were, um, they seem cheap to us, you know, but. Even the sparrow was not forgotten by God. Uh, we really can't put a, a, a price on a human life. Um, but he says that not one of the sparrows was forgotten by God. Uh, this little uh, seemingly insignificant bird um, was sold for a penny uh, or two pennies. Um, but yet a, a human life is... Uh, something that uh you know god uh god highly values and god will never forget in fact uh psalms 56 8 says that god keeps a record of our tossing in bed and he keeps a count of our tears uh so god will never forget us uh us being you know remember he's speaking to his disciples he's uh, us as his people he will never forget us never uh, um, we are his children so therefore uh, he will never forget us um, despite what uh, what it may seem like in your circumstances whether you're going through uh, a trial or a hard time or suffering or whatever it may seem like it may seem like God has forgotten you but God will not forget you. Um, you know, uh, what's up, Amanda? Um, so, 
it may seem like God has forgotten you in a trial or something similar that you're going through, um, but God has not forgotten you. That's where you have to rely on the Word of God. It says, not one of them is forgotten before God. Um, so if this bird, if this sparrow is not forgotten by God, how much more a human life, a human life not being forgotten by God? Um, so, um, the thing is, uh, I want you to think about Joseph, okay? Uh, not a people, not a lot of people talk about Joseph much, um. But Joseph was uh, a righteous man. He was, uh, you know, the uh, guy who was thrown into jail after being accused of sleeping with Potiphar's wife. Now, uh, there were several points uh, in his life where he could have thought that God had forgotten about him. Uh, when his brothers threw him into the uh, pit, when he was sold into slavery... Uh, when he was sold, uh, or when he was cast into the dungeon after uh, being accused of uh, sleeping with Potiphar's wife or uh, trying to uh, seduce Pot Potiphar's wife. Um, and then he could have been also uh, thinking that God forgot about him when the uh, servants of Pharaoh were called out of the dungeon and placed back into their proper uh, place. Uh, and they forgot about mentioning him. Um, so, uh, you know, even though they didn't mention him later, but, but that's besides the point. Um, so, he, there were several points in him suffering where it could have seemed to him that God had forgotten about him. But he didn't. God, in his own purpose, in his own plan, in his own timing, uh, was going to bring about good for Joseph, even in spite of the wrong that was done to him, even in spite of these uh, terrible circumstances and and trials that he was going through, God was working for Joseph's good. So you are not forgotten in your trials, in your circumstances, in in your sufferings, uh, because you are uh, you are highly valued. Which is my second point. Look at. Verse 7, it says, Why, even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, you are more valuable than many sparrows. We are highly valuable to God. As image bearers, as God's children, we are valuable to God. Um, so much so that Jesus went to the cross to redeem his 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 uh, people, His, uh, his children, His uh the people of the earth, you know, to redeem mankind. We are valuable to God. Uh, so, um, what's up, Billy? God bless you, man. Um, so, so, uh, yeah, we are valuable. We are not forgotten. We are, uh, we are treasured, uh, to God. Uh, we are his treasure. We are the inheritance of Christ. And he is our inheritance. So take pleasure in that. Um, we are the bride of Christ. We are co-heirs with Christ. This is who we are in Christ. Uh, rejoice in that. So when trials come, when when these uh, when this distress comes upon you, when these uh, hardening times come upon your heart and, and weary this sets in um, rejoice knowing that God has not forsaken you he knows your tears he knows the number of your tears he keeps them he knows the tossing in your in your bed you tossing to and fro he knows the restlessness in your heart and fear not fear not your trials fear not the things that man can do to you because uh, you need to fear the one uh, who is ultimately in control of every situation and every circumstance and everything that happens in this world, and that is God. He is working for your good and for His glory. He is active in every situation. He has not forgotten you, and you are valuable in His eyes. Rejoice. 
rejoice. Jesus is on the throne. I love y'all. I'm praying for y'all. And, uh, uh, I just, uh, man, it's a good day. <laughs> this is good news, guys. I mean, God is good. His word is good. His, his, his love is, 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 uh, is, is persistent. Uh, God is so good to us, man. Um, I love y'all. Y'all take care, okay? Uh, rejoice in God. Tell somebody about him. Tell somebody about Jesus today. Uh, God is so good. Praise God.